What's up, BTY Nation? Coach Bobby back here talking about sugar emo. Right, that's right, sugar emo. I didn't stutter, I didn't stutter, not this time. Right, so in college, right, in college, when I played college football, we had this, this, this mantra, this saying, whenever the, the practice got stale and we were walking around, going through the motions, our coaches would yell, sugar emo, as in sugar emotion, as in artificially enhanced or created emotion. And we all go crazy, ah, ah, and get pumped up, like kind of faking it, right? And that was the deal, right? So he would say, sugar emo, and then we would all get pumped up artificially. But what we found, and, and, and what was his point, because he knew, was that once you physiologically change, your mindset change, changes, right? So I know we all wanna, wanna feel uh, and be guided by, by, by our emotions and our passion and our drive from internal and from our head and let that lead us, but oftentimes it's not there and we have to create it, right? Artificially create it. So yes, there's days when you don't wanna study. Right? You have to make yourself study. There's days when you don't want to work out. You have to make yourself work out. There's days when you don't want to be passionate about what you're doing, but you want to get to the, to the, to the destination and the prize, and it requires a certain degree of attack, of, of, of purposeful conviction, and, and sometimes you have to create that, right? And so, scientists will tell you, that yes, our mind can dictate how our body acts, right? When you are upset or depressed or down about something, your body reflects that, right? You slouch your shoulders, you walk around, right? You know, I'm so upset, I got laid off, my dog died, I'm, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still fat, whatever it is, your body can reflect that. But our body can, re our mind can also reflect what our body reflects. So if you walk around like this, even if you were in a good mood and you did this for about an hour, you would eventually feel upset or depressed for no reason, right? So there's times when you feel like this mentally and you have to make yourself feel like this mentally, right? If you guys think every time a fucking singer goes, on, goes in concert that the, that the universe aligns for him or her, you out of your fucking mind. If you think every time there's a tip off or a kickoff in a sporting game and every athlete on the field or court just happens to be at the apex of their emotion, you are out of your mind. These people have been trained to get ready, get ready whenever they have to. I can still do it. I got chills from doing that. I can still do it. When, when I need to be pumped up, I can get pumped up for a workout, right? When I need to get ready for it to study, I can sit down and study. So yeah, I know it ain't easy. I know sometimes we have to make ourselves do more physiologically to get our mind right, but we have to do it, right? So, so getting, getting to practice of working towards, towards your dream and, and being purposeful about it, right? So walk tall. Right, purposely schedule your workouts and then meet them. Meet them. Purposely schedule your studying and then meet it. All the things that you know you need to do to be successful, make sure you schedule them and then walk through them with purpose. Right? Practice walking through them with purpose. Practice your sugar emo. Practice being up when you need to be up. Right? It's not easy, but once you do it, it becomes habit. Right? I work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Right? There are days when my body wants to work out Tuesday and Thursday. Right? But I get in here and when it's time to go, I get ready. I get ready. However I gotta get ready, I get ready. I shake my head a little bit to my football things. Now I'm ready to go. Now I'm ready to go. Right? Same is true in your life. Right? Whatever you're facing, guys, you gotta get used to being good about generating physiological, physiological changes in your body and that affect your mind. Sure, we would rather our mind always dictate. We would rather always be in a good mood, right? always be happy, always be driven, always be motivated and inspired, right? It's, just, it's not gonna work, right? All the time. Even if Instagram has all these posts, even if Pinterest has all these goals and all these things that are supposed to get you motivated, sometimes it ain't there. When it's not there, you gotta put it here first, right? Put it here first, put it in the body, stand tall, walk around with confidence, walk around with purpose, and then your mind will follow. So guys, I'm telling you, when your mind isn't right, 
When your mind is upset, when your mind is depressed or down or bitter or angry, let your body dictate. Let your body take over. Let your body tell your mind, this is where I'm going to be today. This is what we're going to do. And then take it from there. All right. So I want you guys to remember going forward that the mindset is going to be sugar emo, sugar emotion. So when I yell sugar emo, right, to you in the future, I want you to step up, right? Stand up, shoulders up, chest out, right? And if I'm not there to help you, to push you, I want you to tell yourself whenever you're feeling down and don't want to go to the workout and don't want to study for the test and don't want to get ready for that board meeting, I want you to tell yourself sugar emo and get your mind right.